So there is no such thing as de-evolution. Things don't devolve. Evolutionary biologists do not use those terms. Change in a population's traits over time is always called evolution, regardless of how highly any of us personally rates the quality of that change. And this person had a really good question about that. They want to know, what if a species evolves to have a trait that its ancestors previously evolved to lose? Does that happen? Yes, it does, and we have a name for it. It's called secondary adaptation. Probably most of the animals you can name off the top of your head are tetrapods, which approximately means land animals with bones. But literally, the word tetrapode means four feet. And that's because when the first tetrapods evolved to be able to walk on land out of ancestors that lived in the water full time, those first tetrapods were walking on four feet. So the default tetrapod condition is to walk on four legs, like this lizard here. To this day, most tetrapods walk on four legs, and any tetrapod that doesn't, like snakes and humans, evolved to be that way away from the default condition out of ancestors that did walk on four legs. Like, for example, dinosaurs. So the first dinosaurs were bipeds, they walked on two legs, and the default dinosaur condition is to be a biped. But many different dinosaurs evolved out of those bipedal ancestors to be quadrupedal, like their even more distant quadrupedal ancestors, which means that sauropods like Brachiosaurus, Brontosaurus, and this Amargosaurus I have on my jacket are secondary quadrupedal quadrupeds. And fun fact, if you've ever got to look at a sauropod skeleton, this is the reason why their front feet and their back feet look so different. It's because the back feet were always feet, but the front feet used to be hands. Second example, remember how I said the first tetrapods evolved out of creatures that lived in the water full time? A whole bunch of tetrapods, a whole bunch of times, have gone back to the water and evolved to live in the water full time again, like ichthyosaurs, mosasaurs, plesiosaurs, sea turtles, sea snakes, seals, sea lions, and whales like this guy right here. Here, which means that they are secondarily aquatic, and for the um actually crowd, yes this is technically a dolphin, that's a type of whale. But again, secondary adaptation is not de-evolution, it's just another form of evolution. So her ancestors were fit for their environment as land animals, and now she is fit for her environment as a sea creature. 